happy Mommy Pro weekend. Today is Friday and it's 12 o'clock. Why am I getting started with my day this late? I haven't. I have not. Maybe a little. Okay, I just filmed a video. I did this get ready with me. It was an epic failure of life. <sighs> Y'all. Why did I wake up thinking I wanted to do orange eyeshadow and then do this and then wear this and then totally fail at life? Like, why am I surprised? I just really wanted to do an orange eyeshadow look and I think I picked the wrong eyeshadows to use. So they betrayed my love and that's the current state of our lives. I actually have to do a video right now. I have to do two more videos right now. Um, I have to edit one today, submit it today, and see if it gets brand approval today. Um, so it's a busy, busy Friday, 12 o'clock. Uh, Parker won't be home until about 3.30. Um, I need to make dinner, but I wanted to film the dinner that I was planning on making, so hopefully it all works out where I can do that. But if I were to do that, then I won't be editing until tonight, and I don't, I don't edit at night because I make all the mistakes, y'all. Are you looking at my cute little snazzy background? I actually stole this from Parker's brother's house. <laughs> so when they heard that we were doing the estate sale, they also got hyped and did a garage sale themselves, and when I went to look, I saw this little snazzy majigger, and I was like, oh, is that a backdrop? And they're like, well, it's kind of like to do projector movies or like projector presentations. And I was like, or to take a selfie. <laughs> so I stole it. <laughs> it's really cool. So it's like pretty big. I mean, I think it's about six feet across, but it's completely, there's Sophia. It's completely 100% collapsible, and it kind of just, like squishes in completely. See how the, like the accordion, it just completely squishes in and it turns into the side of this long bar. The size, it turns into the size of this long bar here. What a difference good lighting makes. Look, this is me in the shadow. Then this is me with artificial lighting. I don't know how I feel about this one. It makes the eyeshadow look extra electric. I like the window lighting better. <laughs> If I do say so myself. So we don't have plans this weekend. Um, I think we're just gonna do back to school shopping because we do have the girls. Um, but other than that, I just have a lot of work to do. Um, one of Parker's daughters has to go to like some sort of school practice tomorrow, which is Saturday. Um, so I'll probably just work again in the morning. And then Sunday, I don't know. Like we literally have zero plans this weekend, which is kind of nice considering all the previous weekends we've had kind of excited about one with very little plans. So I have to get back to work, I have to get back to filming, but I wanted to say hi to you guys. This probably will be a short vlog. When I say that, it's usually a lie and it's longer, but I don't anticipate it being long because we do have a lot of work to do and I'm spending time with Parker's daughters and I don't like to like be whipping out the camera every five seconds. So um, I'll try my best to vlog. But if it's short, please don't stone me. Um, because if you stone me to death, then I can't do any more vlogs. So, please. Please be kind. Anyway, that's it. I love you. Hey, you guys. Almost 4 o'clock. Just here for a very brief check-in because I'm in the zone. I changed my outfit. I didn't put on lipstick. I did a little ponytail in my tube baby little itty bitty hairs um we are going to do that like fajita stir fry or fajita stir or fajita stir fry or fajita that fajita skillet that we did last vlog i loved it so much it's actually kind of healthy uh very lean protein and it's a 10 minute meal so why not i have all the ingredients on hand it's a great kitchen sink dish as well so I think I'm going to do that right now for cooking break with Danny for next week. But I just wanted to check in and show you guys my amazing t-shirt. <laughs> Amazon finds. So yeah, that's it. It's four o'clock. Um, nobody's here. So it's just me. But I know the minute everyone gets here, they're going to be starving and ready to eat. So I think I just want to have everything ready to go and reheat it if I need to instead of rushing last minute. Um, to do it when everyone's already here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Um, but, you wanna say hi? Say hi to your friends. Tell them we have to get started with work or we're gonna run super behind, right? Do you wanna eat some tacos? Do you like tacos? Do you want a taco? All right, I'm gonna need a little more action out of you if you're gonna, if you're gonna be in these vlogs. Can I get some action? Can I get some movement? 
How about more than a blank? How about something else? Oh my goodness, you're so white. The camera doesn't want to focus on you. My goodness. My fat boy. Hello, fatty boy. Hey, you guys. 8 o'clock. I'm about to call it a night. But you want to hear something cool? So I was upstairs catching up on my DVR, getting my studio ready for work again tomorrow. And um, I was watching TV with Parker and one of his daughters. And I was like, man... I'm all caught up on my DVR. I really wish I had some cheesecake right now. All of a sudden, everyone disappears, and then I come downstairs. You wanna see what I saw? You might get a little jealous, but uh, I think it's, I think I'm deserving of it because, I mean, I am tan and engaged, so. Oh, whoa, 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 <laughs> what's going on over here? Too many hands on my cheesecake. Too many hands. Ta -da. So what is this? Raspberry? I don't know. Uh, raspberry, chocolate, brownie, Oreo cookie, and plain. I want this one. <laughs> that's the one I want to try. All right, so that's it, you guys. Um, I'm going to put this in my face, and I'll see you tomorrow. I love you. Hey, you guys. Happy Saturday. Good morning. Um, this is the face of a headache. I hope to one day just wake up and be like, I can't remember the last time I had a headache. They're so common and normal in my life that it's weird the thought of learning to get used to pain. Like learning to live with pain is a weird, it's a very weird sensation, right? What? What kind of pain do you live in? Honestly. Huh? Seriously? Please tell me. What kind of pain do you live in? How, how could your life be it even remotely, possibly a little bit hard. Hmm? Well, why is it hard? You don't even have chores. No one in this house has chores. Hey, what's the matter? What's wrong? Hey, do you want to tell everyone you don't have clean diapers? Hmm? You want to tell everyone you peed through your last diaper and now we're doing laundry and you don't have a diaper? I'm thinking about putting a pull-up on him. <laughs> Or just confining him to downstairs. And that's my trash can saying hello. Seriously, what's your problem? What's your, oh, you didn't want to get up? That, that's a big problem in this house, waking up. Hey, but you're always in a good mood, aren't you? Yes, you are. You always have a wag to offer. Look at those rolls. Can I see those rolls? Let me see those rolls. Oh, yeah, those are nice rolls. Wow, look at these. Oh, those are delicious. Oh, those are so delicious rolls. You wanna tell everyone it's raining? Tell everyone it's raining outside. Like, what kind of August is this? What kind of August is this where it's raining all morning? It's so weird, isn't it? It is so weird. What are we gonna do about your diaper? Hmm? What are we gonna do about your diaper? You don't care, do you? You kinda like it. I think you did it on purpose. Was it totally intentional? Was it totally intentional? Y'all smell like wet dog. That is awful. You smell like wet dog. Yes, it is. It's so awful. So awful. And honestly, I shouldn't be complaining. There are people that live with far worse situations or illnesses or autoimmune disorders and they actually live with pain. I'm just talking about a stupid headache. <laughs> I shouldn't be complaining. But yeah, the concept of getting used to living with pain is, is a hard pill for me to swallow. So anyway, I have a headache. All of that to say, I have a headache. Wah! Call an ambulance. <laughs> Saturday. It's uh, almost eight o'clock, um, it's raining. So uh, bonus baby senior had band practice this morning. I guess she didn't because it's super hardcore raining. Um, but she and Parker left at like 6 a.m. Uh, Parker is doing some stuff at his old place. Anyway, I have a lot of work to do today, um, but I can't do it if it's raining and cloudy. So I'm hoping the storm will pass in probably an hour, but don't worry because there's always something we need to do around this place. Like right now, I'm staring at a full dishwasher that needs to be unloaded. Um, I need to drink my coffee and I need to uh, do some email stuff, but I do have some good news, a couple of things actually. I feel like we should sit down for this and get some coffee. Okay, the first thing is, I talked about this in a get ready with me, but I don't know if you've seen it already when you see this vlog, but our cooking channel is finally monetized. Now, if you guys are like, I wanna be a famous YouTuber when I grow up, it's a little bit more complex than people think. You don't just hit record and upload and think, you know, you're gonna go viral. Although it does happen like that for some people. Um, 
there are a lot of holes that YouTube uh, throws at you in order for you to be able to make any sort of money. Um, and so the most raw and common basic way to make money is with ads, those ads that you skip at the beginning of these videos. And so in order for you to be given any ads to play in front of your videos or in between your videos or at the end of your videos, um, you have to have a minimum of 4,000 hours of view time and at least 1,000 subscribers. Um, and then you have to submit it for review and they get to say yes or no. So we were able to do that for our cooking channel and it's officially monetized now, which means you'll be able to get some ads. Just kidding. Um, that's not good news for you, but it's definitely good news for me because posting content on that channel and not, it was basically like doing work for free, like hours of work and then uploading it. And although I love to cook and I love to share and I ate the food, so there were some benefits, it's nice to get paid for the work that you do. And when I say get paid, I'm saying like $2. <laughs> it's not a lot. It's, it's pennies, you guys, it's pennies. It's like a fraction of a cent per video or something like that, per, per watch time per subscriber watch time, it's it's pathetic anyway. And there are peak seasons too. So like summer and winter, you get paid more for ads versus spring and fall, the ads pay nothing. And so you can go from making, and this is just a barbaric number, it's not true. You could go from making say um, $100 on a peak season for ads to $10 on a um, down season for ads. I know, super lame, my arm hurts. Okay, so that was the one good news. The other good news is in last weekend's vlog, I was telling you guys about a, um, a potential opportunity with JCPenney. Um, good news, it's happening. Um, very excited. I can't tell you guys the details quite yet, but the details will be full out in the open the first week of September. Um, there will also be a local meetup, so if you guys are in Dallas or surrounding cities, um, there will be a I think it's three or four hour meetup, which will be fun because some of you guys work or have things to do, soccer games, stuff like that. So um, that's a very exciting. Um, so those are the two bits of good news. Right now, I'm going to brew some coffee, um, hope that the storm passes and the sun comes out, and then um, unload the dishwasher. Y'all are jealous, I know. I get to look this amazing when I wake up. My voice is this sexy. I have a glorious headache and I get to clean my kitchen. What? Listen, it could be better, but it could certainly be worse. Right, Mary? Right? Okay, I have the perfect roll view right now. We're gonna call this roll cam. Roll cam in full effect. Oh, you disrupted the roll cam. Hey, Wesley, sit. Sit. Wesley, sit. He's like, like right now, right now, or, or later? What, what kind of sit? I just wanna, I just wanna get up in here real quick. I just, I need to verify something. Like, is, is this, is this a roll right here? Is this a roll right here? Oh, look at this face. You guys are super stinky, I swear to goodness. You know that wet dog smell? That's the literal worst. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You smell amazing. It's like cologne. Yes, it's like cologne. Oh my goodness. You are just going to give me a full day of sass today, aren't you? It's like you're like preparing me. This is anticipatory sass for the rest of the day. Don't give me that squint. Hey, you're mad at me, aren't you? Are you mad because I was shaming you? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. I promise. I won't. I won't do it again. Oh, you want some coffee? Is it coffee time? This girl, let me tell you, Mern is, she's your kid that if you try to step out of a routine, she will not have it. She will flip a switch and she will be super sassy. So every morning, the minute they get out of their crates, I take them out back, she pees. She comes inside, sits here, and she gets her vitamin and her grain-free treat every morning. And if I even remotely do something out of the usual, she freaks out. And the rest of the day, she is sassy McSassy pants, and she has an attitude problem because you can't go out of a routine. My oldest son, he's seven, he's the same way. Routine, 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 routine. God forbid you step out of a routine because they have a meltdown. At least my seven-year-old does. She's just a brat all day. <laughs> anyway, I kinda don't wanna clean my kitchen right now, so I'm just trying to hang out with y'all. 
I don't know what we're gonna do today, but let me tell you this. We are probably going to go see um, Hobbs and Shaw with the girls. So the girls are like obsessed with Disney movies. They know all the Disney movies, they know quotes, they know all the songs, they know all the words, like they'll watch it and they'll say that all the, they're just, they're movie buffs. Um, so I was telling Parker that this movie came out, I wanted to go see it, and he's like, oh, let's take the girls. And I was like, your girls are diehard Disney movie fans. All they do is watch cartoons, that's it. They're uh, 12 and 15, and all they do is watch kid movies. And I was like, you really think they're gonna wanna see that? And he's like, well, we gotta get them started. <laughs> I was like, good point. So we asked them if they wanted to go see it. They were like, mm, but they're gonna. We just haven't figured out if it's going to be today or tomorrow. I guess y'all will find out at the same time I do. Hey, Sophie, show everyone your rain face. Show everyone your rain face. Oh my goodness, we need a haircut. Look at those curls. So I told you guys in Sophia's story, hey, don't growl at your sister. This is why you live behind the gate, because you think you're all about that thug life. Hey, hey, stop. Stop. You never survive a fight with her, dude. How's it taking you this long to figure out? You know how many times she's been to the emergency room trying to fight her sister? Nuts. Okay, so I told you guys in Sophia's story that she has problems with her sight, which is probably, I think, one of the reasons why she gets into fights with Ernie. Um, so her vision's really poor. Um, she, when she meets someone new, she gets like this close to your face, <laughs> like where you could feel her because she's trying to see your face. Um, hi, Pupu. And, um, so now that her hair is getting longer, you see how it's covering her eyes? Parker was like, I think she's due for a haircut and that's not helping out her sight. Do you want me to cut her hair? And I was like, I'm sorry, what? He's like, yeah, I could use my beard trimmers, no problem. Beard clippers, beard trimmers. That's the Keurig that you hear. And I was like, really? Can I vlog it? No. <laughs> so Parker wants to cut her hair, but I'm scared he's gonna make her look nuts. Although, she kind of looks a little crazy already. I like her shaggy though. Doesn't she look cute? She looks like Lamb Chop. You want me to sing your song again? People didn't like your song. Because it got stuck in their head all day. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. You know what I love about her? Her sass. Like, she's fearless. A little stupid. <laughs> but definitely fearless. guys, five o'clock, don't mind this amazing lighting. Um, I'm wearing super ultra glam makeup right now. So complete change of plans. Um, I was supposed to work, it's been cloudy all day, and it won't be tomorrow, so we decided, <laughs> that creep in? Um, we decided to do a family day today instead. We're at Studio Movie Girl. It's one of those theaters where you order dinner there and they bring it to the seat. Although these seats are kind of weird looking, huh? So we're here with the girls and we're gonna watch Hobbs, Hobbs and Shaw. Good looking out. Bonus baby senior to the rescue, always. You guys, full of fun facts. She taught me how to pour out of a broth container. We'll talk about it later, it's a little embarrassing. Um, so I'm really excited. We're gonna get them turned on to action flicks. I hope there's a lot of fighting and murder, just saying. I don't know what I'm gonna get, but I'll show you guys. I'll need you to light up for me. <laughs> oh, I'm in charge of lighting? You're in charge of lighting. <laughs> but that's I'm like a group. I love you. Hey, you guys, nine o'clock. All right, watch the movie. As if they couldn't tell by the sultry lighting. So uh, we watched the movie, we came home. We had a little back to school talk. It was one of those like family meetings where it's like, what do you need? What do you need? What do you need? make a list? Number the list. We're gonna attack this tomorrow. So the girls are going back to school in about two weeks, and we need to get them, you know, whatever they need for school in terms of clothing. For my boys, it's easy because I'm like, I'm forcing you to wear this. For them, they're contributing members of society. They get a vote. They get to decide what they need, kind of. <laughs> and so, um. We were having a conversation, which is why we couldn't update you guys on this amazing, spectacular Academy Award winning feature that we just saw. All I'm going to let you ladies know is that I have never seen a sexier driver in my life like Jason Statham. And The Rock comes out in a sarong. You're welcome. 
I just ruined the movie for you guys, spoiler alert. But because it is kind of like a boys movie, I guess Parker should tell us what he actually thinks about the movie. But I mean, I basically just summarized it for you. That's that's all you need to know. Sexy driving, kung fu like karate skills or karate. Do you know where that's from? Um, and a sarong. I mean, I covered all the points, right? Ryan Reynolds. Ah, oh, he was so funny. <laughs> oh, I knew some Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds and uh, Kevin Hart are in the movie. Did yeah, you know that? Yeah. Kevin I didn't know that. In. Kevin popped in. Kevin popped in. Cameo. It was, it was funny. His cameo was great. Yeah. Him, Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, that was our favorite parts of the movies was Ryan Reynolds and, and Kevin Hart. Mm -hmm. That was good. It was a little over the top, the movie. A little over the top. Kind of like a NASA rocket going over an eight hill. Over the top. Other than that, it's very realistic. It was good. All I'm going to let you know, besides the sarong and the driving, is The Rock held on to a Black Hawk military helicopter on a chain. It is magic. I'm going to need a cold shower tonight. <laughs> Every time something She's... would happen like she that, I'd be really... like, yeah! And he would be like... <laughs> you're, you're really smelling what the rock was cooking. Oh, God, I ate it for dinner. <laughs> so bad. It was so good. You guys, there's a little girl in the movie. She looks like a real-life Moana. Like if Moana was a carrot... Hey, Disney. Y'all are into doing those reenactment bullshit. Uh, that's your Moana right there, the little girl. What, did she look exactly like Moana? Yeah, that curly hair. Yeah, Give her two years, she's Moana. Anyway, that's it. The movie was amazing. Listen, it's a it's a blockbuster. You know, like you're expecting the the nos and the driving and the Samoan dance moves. So we're kind of sexy. There's a character in that movie that was in it for like 10 seconds. I need to know who that actor is. Which one? Oh my God. Parker, I don't, I don't feel comfortable talking to you about this right now. Oh, oh really? Oh God. Feeling a bit threatened. Yeah, he was, he made me want to rip my face off. But he was in the movie for 10 seconds, so we all know his acting ability. He's just pretty. See, I'll Google rip my face off. <laughs> Good looking guy. <laughs> and it comes See what comes up. <laughs> oh, here he is. Is this him? <laughs> I'll kill him. <laughs> That's the Karen that smiled for the very last time. Oh, in last weekend's vlog, I told you guys about ex exaggerated smile Karen that we're going to murder her. So a lot of pandas were like, now we're going to find her and murder her. But someone just said... I apologize to all the Karen. <laughs> someone just said, hey, Danny, what if Karen, Karen, just recognized Parker from your vlog and that's why she gave the really goofy big smile? You know, because she's not going to say hi to you. Like that girl we saw at the taco shop, remember? I think her name was Gabby or Anna. Yeah, she was really nice. And she smiled at you first, but she didn't say hi until she saw me. So what if she saw you and she was like, ah, it's Danny's Parker. No, flirting with you. She's using, she's using me to get to you. That's all it is. <laughs> I like how I'm just trying to take away all his credit. It's not because he's extremely good looking. It's all about him. It's all it's the star. That was mean. Was it? That was, that was, that was very mean. You loved it. Just for that, I'm going to Google the face ripping actor. All right, I'm going to Google when face we get off. ripping actor. Google it right now. I found him. Look, it popped up. It was the first thing I saw. Y'all, we're going to bed. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Hey, hey, guys. Happy Sunday. So, do you remember that song that goes, tomorrow, tomorrow? That song about how uh, there'll be sun tomorrow and uh, it's raining today, but tomorrow there's, there's going to be sunshine? Well, I have bad news for you guys because it's raining today, too. So, change of plans. I feel like that's the theme of all my weekend vlogs. Change of plans, guys. Um, change of plans. We're gonna do something a little bit different today. Uh, we are going to edit, is what I'm doing right now. You wanna see? So right now, we are doing the whole uh, chicken marsala editing, which I thought I had already done, and I didn't. How um, 
inconvenient is that? So apparently I thought I had it edited and uploaded and scheduled and ready to go. I hadn't even edited, edited it. That's the problem when I feel, film so much content in advance. I kind of lose track of what footage I have on my computer just sitting looking pretty. So we're editing this morning and all that noise that you hear in the kitchen is uh, my personal chef, Parker. He's making steak and eggs, kind of exciting. Um, so we're gonna do back to school shopping today. We have a little list of what we need to do, where we're gonna go. Hopefully it's not too crazy and crowded because this weather's keeping people indoors. A girl could dream. Um, and then we have to grocery shop for the week. I'm not looking forward to that. There are a couple errands that I wanna run, but I think I might do them tomorrow when I have a little mom time. But I don't know, do you guys wanna see what Parker's doing? Or do you wanna say good morning to this nugget? Do you want to say good morning to my little nugget? Oh, you are so little. Oh, you are so little. Oh, look at how little you are. Are you not feeling so good today, huh? It's a rough day today, huh? We are having a little bit of a slow start. That's okay. You know what, though, Popo? You get new diapers today. Oh, my God. Guess what we're going to see in this vlog? Popo modeling his new diapers. Yes, sir, we are. All right, look at the spread. This uh, was Bo Dong. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try. Got some tortillas. Got a cutting board. We got some eggs. Y'all, seriously, these are the best eggs ever. I was a little, I was a non believer. And then I tried it out the color difference, the flavor difference. Uh, even Parker's like, man, these eggs are good. These eggs are amazing. So what do we got going on here, sir? What's the haps? Oh, you use ghee? Do you like ghee? Uh, that was my first try with ghee. I like ghee. Ghee's okay. Ghee's awesome. Look at that. Parker's leftover lunch becomes delicious breakfast. Did you use this? Yes, I did. Just cleaned it. Oh my goodness. Oh, you know what we should do is we should get Miss Lucas chilies out of the fridge. Parker's sister-in-law's mom makes the best Chiles in escabeche, or chilies in like vinegar. I keep them in a hard place to reach for so that people don't eat them. <laughs> we'll eat this. Ooh, that lighting, holy mackerel. We'll eat this with the steak and eggs. How are you this morning? Huh? How are you this morning, nosy Rosie? How are you this morning, nosy Rosie? Hmm? Come on, I'm pretty girl. You wanna go potty? That is your potty, do you wanna go potty? Go potty. Yeah. It's still raining. You sure? Okay. You guys, it's 11:30. I have a hot date. Uh, we are at one of our favorite places to visit together. I know this one's excited. Do you want to introduce it because it's like your homeland? Walmart. I like the hands. So I feel like we're one of those like old um, romantic love stories like um, Romeo and Juliet, like the Capulets and the what were Montagues. They? Montagues. So, but they found love and, the, and they're gonna make it happen. I'm not gonna kill myself with you for the record, um, but I am willing and enjoying Death coming to Walmart. Death by baby. <laughs> Death by <savings. laughs> We're gonna be like, hey, do you wanna do that thing you we do together? Die from all these great prices. <laughs> do you wanna go to Walmart? Yeah! Gonna get, no, gonna get I ran actually... over by a rollback. <laughs> <laughs> he, he knows like the perfect timing to just like turn on the wit and the charm. It's like a trigger, like he knows exactly when to use it. So, uh, I wanted to come to Walmart because I love their chuck. If you guys want good chuck, good cheap chuck, because we're doing pot roast this week, um, Walmart's the spot. Plus, he loves their chicken, and I may or may not be looking for a flower beauty product, don't tell Parker, um, and Walmart has it. So we're here, and we're gonna do it, and you're coming with us. I love you. It's 
so it has been what seems like a super long day. Um, we went to the mall, we went to DSW, we went to Old Navy, but the good thing is that the girls got everything that they needed. I mean, it was, it, it couldn't have been more perfect. They got the jeans they needed, they got the shirts they needed, everything was stocked. There was only one thing we needed to order, but they're shipping it to the house, which is super convenient. But we all started to get kind of like hangry and like a little slumpy. And everyone's like, well, it's kind of, we're kind of hungry. And it's only 3.30. So when we were leaving the mall, I told them about my favorite Greek restaurant, which I've told you guys about before. It's called Platia's in Frisco. Um, and I was like, well, the Greek restaurants across the street. And everyone was like, yes, let's go there. I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> because Greek to kids might sound different, right? Like something they're not used to. So we're outside right now uh, that we're waiting to get a table. Um, and I was like, I haven't checked in at all, but we've been all over the place. We're exhausted and we still need to go home, cook Parker's lunches. But I think it's it's been a really full weekend and I'm kind of loving it. So I'm gonna show you guys what we get. Um, it's the first time the girls are here, so hopefully they like it. We just got home and we wanted to document this momentous occasion because if anyone's going to appreciate a really cute outfit change, it's going to be you guys. Uh, for example, my outfit change consists of my as of latte tank top. Oh, you want to show your outfit too? All right, just barreling in the door like that. I'm wearing these amazing sweatpants that I was wearing in last weekend's vlog. But the thought ball is going to show you a... Uh, very special outfit change. In fact, it's 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 remarkable. It's uh it's charming. It's it's really gonna elevate his style profile. So um, it's think about like just fab for dogs. <laughs> Bobo, come here. Bean, Bobo, bean, bean, Bobo, bean, bean, Bobo. Okay, so right now we're just wearing you know just the everyday solid color. Um, belly band diaper oh all right well aren't you in a good mood today but right now we are going to put on the designer jean version of this diaper you ready it is for you it is for you it is so We got some dungarees, huh? Why are you so mad? Why are you mad? Am I embarrassing you? Wow. He does look handsome. He's mad. You don't like it? We still gotta wash them, but man. I know. I didn't do it. She did it. Mern photobombs everything. Oh my goodness. Oh yes. Oh yes. He is angry. Why are you mad? Why are you looking at Parker to rescue what? you? What? Can I get a close up, please? Oh. Is she tight? <laughs> it's not tight at all. Look at that, you guys. Check that. Check it out. He is not having it. Are we having a bad day? He was sick outside right now when I took him. <laughs> Bam, bu -bu. Come here. Show me. Oh, that is nice. Oh, that's a nice looking diaper. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is a nice diaper. That's a nice, oh, yeah, that's a nice diaper. Do you like it? It's not tight. Look. It's not tight, you guys. Look, I promise. If he can wiggle out of it, it's not tight. <laughs> Do you 
you want to show them your haul? So a couple of the diapers over time, um, the Velcro gets loose because you put them on and off so often. You know, he goes potty, what, 10 times a day? So the Velcro starts to get pretty loose and he Houdini's his way out of them. So we got him two new sets. We got the gray, the black, and this dark blue. This is actually a new color combo. They didn't have this one available. Show me your diapers. Oh, that's a supermodel right there. Popo, ¿quieres una cookie? Oh, look, well, he's checking himself out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, work it, buddy. A lot of you guys ask why um, he wears diapers, and I talked about it in his video. I'll link it in the description box below. But um, he has an enlarged prostate, and he's 13, and he's also on diuretic medication um, for his heart. And so, well, it's not diuretic medication. It's heart medication that is a diuretic. So um, he trickles in the house. He doesn't mark, so he doesn't go around peeing in the house. He can't control it. There's no, what is it, continence? Incontinence? Incontinent. Um, and so we just put a belly band on him. He keeps it on all day, and he doesn't usually pee in it. If he is in bed where he chooses to sleep for like 12 hours, he'll wake up and he has a fully wet diaper. But other than that, it's just little spots. So after a while from doing this so much on the actual Velcro, um, it gets really loose. Like this stop, stops grabbing and he wiggles his way out of them super quick. So when I was looking to um, replace the ones that don't work anymore, I saw, I saw the Dean ones. <laughs> it was more of like a... Um, joke i was buying or i was browsing with uh, parker's youngest daughter and i was like wouldn't this be funny like your dad gets home from work and he's wearing like a jean diaper <laughs> but we couldn't wait we had to ruin the surprise i think he likes it huh baby you like your diaper Popo. Topo. Ay, que guapo te ves con tu papito papito enseñame tu peta <laughs>